Uh, good afternoon, Todd. Uh, when Derek was hurt and went on IR, you talked about uh, sticking to this offensive identity, and the numbers certainly seem to have proven that you all have been able to do that. What allowed you all to be able to stick to that and continue running, even you know, even with having the ch changing personnel back there? You know, we we say it takes all eleven around here, and I think that this has been a season that has uh, helped drive that point home. You know, these guys have worked really hard. Uh, to maintain that identity and uh, you know it's not jerk the wheel and get too far away from uh, who we were with Derek back there and it's a, a testament to the players and how hard they've worked to remain consistent and also the the coaches and how hard they've worked to prepare the guys that have had to fill some shoes so uh, you know proud of these guys but we're just getting started. Uh, John Glennon. Hey Todd um, yeah I guess maybe first just uh, what were your thoughts uh and getting that first look at at uh, Derek on the practice field yesterday and then maybe checking with him again today how how is he feeling after the the first day back uh it was just great to see him out there you know I'll leave any sort of other evaluations for uh people hiring me on the food chain but uh it's always great to have him out there he brings great energy and he's a tireless worker so it was fun to be around him uh Jim and I guess what's the process like as far as you're concerned, Todd, as far as ramping him up, whether it's for this weekend, whether it's for down the road, just how do you approach maybe trying to incorporate him, but also trying to get other guys work? Yeah, you know, that, that's something that comes as a directive as part of his return to play. And so whatever we're told he, he can handle workload wise or they want to see workload wise, we'll work him in there. Uh, the guys have always worked really hard at paying attention to their position, regardless of who's in there getting the reps. So. Uh, you know, we have some practice at balance in that that dynamic. And, uh, you know, again, just excited to have him back around out there. It brings great energy. And uh, whether he's taking a rep or not, you know, uh, you know, he, he certainly uh, makes an impact. Uh, Teron? It was up close time. In regards to uh, Julio Jones, you know, and getting him more involved, uh, obviously, you know, him coming in, it was really supposed to bring a lot of balance to the passing attack. What are some things that you could do to, to get him more involved and, and get him more touches and those type of things to provide that balance? Yeah, you know, we, first we just need to chase consistency there. You know, there's, there's been a, a lot of kind of ups and downs throughout that journey, and we've had some opportunities to, to get him the ball. And, uh, you know, for a variety of reasons, we've, um, you know, not connected on a couple of things. Uh, you know, and so we just need a little bit more consistency out of that area. I can certainly be better at, you know, trying to, um, you know, get him involved uh, at different points in the game and, you know, just uh, working through that process and, and trying to find the right balance. Do you have a, a good amount of plays that you're calling where he is one of the early reads in, in Tannehill's progression? Yeah, you know, I think we try to stay pretty balanced in that stuff. You don't want to make, uh, you know, you don't want to force feed anything. Uh, and you certainly don't want to make assumptions about someone being open in, in certain concepts. So we're always aware of trying to make sure that we've got a variety of guys, uh, you know, early in the progressions and that you have answers for whatever coverages they might throw at you. Uh, Terry? Todd, much like getting A.J. back kind of helped open things up in the passing game and and – allowed you to get other guys involved. How much does getting Derek back also open up the full, uh, I guess, the you know, the full playbook for the offense in terms of uh, – get... uh, You cut off there at the, at the end a little bit, but, um, you know, just to answer the part of the question that I heard, you know, we haven't seen – drastically different defenses, um, you know, without Derek there, you know, we've seen very similar structures throughout. So, uh, you know, obviously you, you put a guy of his caliber uh, in the game and people are going to be paying attention to him, but people know what type of personality we have on offense and, and what our foundation is. So uh, I would answer it simply by saying that as many of our playmakers as we have available, uh, the better uh, we are as a whole. And, and I'm excited about uh, when I'm, told that we have that opportunity. Uh, Paul? 
Hey, Todd, Mike uh, talked a lot earlier this week about guys uh, understanding their roles, uh, downshifting when need be, if it's somebody else's turn, uh, maybe hard to root for that guy, but doing so in the best interest of the team and all that. But when Deontay's time comes to, to step back for Derek there, uh, is there a conversation to be had? And, and, and what do you expect that dynamic to be like? He's, he's such a great teammate. He really is. Um, you know, just seeing him walk around and have a smile on his face, regardless of, you know, how many touches he got or, or what his role is. I think he's just really appreciative, uh, you know, of the opportunity to be here and be part of this journey. And he certainly has been a huge part of this journey. Um, you know, I, I would anticipate that it, it would be, um, you know, a, another growing experience for him and a, another uh, part of his journey. Uh, but he has certainly established himself as a guy that, you know, is our type of guy and very selfless. Um, you know, some of his comments that, that I heard, uh, you know, about his time here and his appreciation for the opportunities he's had, it just speaks volumes to who he is. And, you know, we got a lot of guys like that around here that just want to see this team succeed, uh, you know, and, and put themselves second, which is a pretty cool thing to be a part of. Thanks, uh, Luke. Luke. Coach, the last couple games, it took the offense a few drives to start sustaining and getting first downs consistently. What needs to happen moving forward to, to get that to happen quicker and not sort of have to, you know, feel out the game like they have in the last couple of games? Yeah, we haven't been efficient enough early in games uh, throughout the course of the year. You know, we've had some, some games where we've come out and we've uh, kind of, you know, fired off the ball early and, and gotten into some drives. And, and then we've had far too many uh, early drives that just haven't resulted in the way that uh, we expect around here. And so we need to, uh, we need to be more consistent early in games. And, and to be honest with you, they're mainly self-inflicted wounds. You know, they're, they're little stubs of the toe here and there uh, that are cost us maybe putting us behind the sticks, you know, whether it be a penalty or a missed assignment. So uh, we certainly need to be more intentional uh, coming out of the gates. Uh, John, go ahead. Hey, Todd. Um, last several games, you know, the the, uh, the passing game has, has probably, I guess, been described maybe as, as efficient. Um, not not the huge numbers in, in large part because you didn't always need the, the big numbers. Um, what, I guess, what though makes you confident um, that if, if called upon in, in kind of a shootout game that, uh, you know, the passing attack could step up and uh, in terms of production? Yeah, I'll take efficient and a win over, uh, you know, flashy and, and a grab bag uh, any day of the week. And, you know, I look at that last couple of games and, and where we've gotten to uh, from a game management standpoint and just what it takes to win. I, I think uh, we're so fortunate to have a head coach here that can paint a picture of what it's going to take to win a football game. We went out against Miami and, and got a lead and we were efficient in the run game and that allowed us in bad weather and uh, all sorts of different factors uh, to close that game out uh, mainly on the ground, you know, and not turn the football over and, um, you know, stay efficient throwing the football when we needed to and hit a couple of big plays when we needed to. Uh, I would say, again, that I think that, you know, confidence in our passing game uh, needs to be built over repeated success. And some of that is, uh, you know, stuff that isn't on TV and on the games, uh, you know, repeated successes in practice and, and things of that nature. Uh, and I think that at times that we've had to pass the ball, we have gone out and, and passed the ball. You know, there have been certain games throughout the course of the year where we've had to march down the field with the pass game late in the game, and, and we've done that. So uh, as we get more playmakers back and, and as we're able to, uh, you know, find ourselves in different game situations, I believe that you'll see uh, we can be efficient in, in all aspects of our offense. Thanks. I'm going to try to squeeze uh, two more in here. Uh, ben? Hey, Todd, how much has, has Ben Jones kind of been an anchor, uh, a pillar for you guys is uh, kind of you, you've had guys in and out um, on kind of both sides of the line and, and just with, with the offense in general, how has he kind of maybe set the tone um, in, in addition to Ryan, just making sure you guys stay on track this season? Yeah, there aren't enough words uh, to describe what Ben Jones means to this team and this offense. He is uh, an incredible, uh, tough, uh, extremely smart, great teammate who just brings it every single week. And, uh, you know, we're so fortunate to have him as a part of this offense. And anchor is a, a great word, Ben, because he is uh, he's a guy that, you know, holds us in place 
and reminds us, uh, you know, where we need to be. So, you know, he is a, a great asset in so many ways and, and a wonderful person to have around to boot. Jim, last, uh, last one, quickie. Hey, Todd, and I just want to get your thoughts on how, how tough it was to see Michael go down. And then if you can kind of give us your early thoughts on Ron Izzo, one of the guys bringing in to help um, help with the numbers at tight end. Yeah, you know, being around uh, and coaching Michael for the last couple of years uh, and seeing how much this team means to him and his teammates mean to him uh, was really difficult to uh, to watch him go down. Uh, but he is going to be and, and has been a huge part of our success here. Uh, you know, and and a guy that, you know, hopefully we can have around uh, as soon as he's physically able to to be around and spend time around his teammates because he matters a lot to us. He matters a lot to me personally. Uh, you know, and, and in terms of uh, Ryan, you know, he's been in a crash course, uh, you know, with Coach Steckel and been working really hard. Uh, like the limited stuff that I've seen from him, I think he's got a good demeanor and good approach. Uh, and he's made the right type of stuff. So hopefully we can get him up to speed quickly.